Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into another video. It's Jackson here for Children Alone, and today we're gonna to be doing a little overview and just kind of general showcase of my new YT2s. This is the new frame design. I had the previous version last year, so I'm really excited to try this baby out this year. So uh, we're gonna be going over some of the basic specs and just I'll give you my first impressions on the bike. And before we get started guys, I just wanna say thanks for watching. Thanks to my subscribers now, and I'd appreciate it if you don't already, if you could click that subscribe and like button. So let's get after it. All right guys, so first impressions after taking this out of the box. First and foremost, it is an extremely beefy bike. Looks super solid, the down tube is massive, and the rest of the bike follows suit for the most part. But while it is very beefy, it is also very streamlined. It's just one of those bikes that looks fast standing still and looks like it can really take a beating, but has very good lines, clean lines to it. Cables are very well done, internally routed, and just a great looking bike overall. So uh, now we'll move on to some spec and just go over some of the general things that YT chose to put on this bike. The first thing we'll talk about here is suspension. As you can see, we have a Fox Performance Elite X2 out back. It is lacking some of the adjustments that the factory version has, being high speed and low speed rebound and compression. But uh, for most people, that's honestly not going to be an issue and probably an advantage because it allows less room for error and uh, just makes it easier to get a proper setup out of the bike. And so far, I've been very impressed. Super supple off the top and feels like it has some, some good support in the mid-stroke. So get back to you guys later in the year on how that's doing. Now we're going to move on to the fork. All right, guys. So the next component we're going to talk about here is the front fork. Similar to the back, it is a Fox unit. It is a Fox 40 Air with the grip damper in it. Super beefy fork. Um, I've seen 40s, never rid of them until now. Previously, I had a boxer. And initial impressions on this thing, super well supported, yet very supple off the top. So I'm super excited to try it out this year. And uh, yeah, just a, a great fork overall. It's well proven. And a really nifty feature on these is it has air release valves right down here by the crown. So when you change elevation or do a lot of runs, sometimes air can build up. And what these allow you to do is just purge that air and that gives you better performance off the top. So great suspension package front and rear and now we'll get on to the drivetrain. On this bike YT chose to do a mixture of E13 and SRAM componentry for the drivetrain. Up front we have the LG1 cranks. Also we have an LG1 integrated cassette with the wheel set which I ran last year as well and loved it. Super compact, has a great gear range and gets the job done. And that is mated to a GXDH shifter and derailleur. And overall, it just provides a super reliable, basic setup. And I forgot to mention, we also have a full LG1 guide up front to keep your chain on and keep that chain and protect it with the bash guard. So uh, now we'll get on to the brakes. Things get a little bit interesting here when we talk about brakes. I'm sure some of you have heard of TRP, and I'm sure some may have not. They're a relatively new brand. These are the Quadiums, co-developed with Aaron Gwynn, who used to ride for YT. Um, and so far, I've been I've been super happy with these brakes. As you can see, in relation to my hand, the lever is pretty large. Same with the caliper, so they do a great job of uh, dissipating heat. And although they may look super industrial, they have fantastic modulation and a lot of power at the same time. And they're different than most brakes. They just have a very responsive feel to them. Um, just very simple, nothing going on with fancy linkages or anything in the lever. They just do what you tell them to do, and uh, they work great because of that. Last but not least for componentry, we'll talk about the wheel and tire setup. The wheels this is running are the E13 LG1s. I also had these on my bike last year, and they stayed true the entire year through many days in the bike park, racing, all sorts of stupid stuff. So awesome wheel set and glad to be running them again. And um, the tires that are on this bike are the Anza Aquilas, who are also designed with Gwyn. And um, so far, um, I haven't really got to test them out too much in different conditions, but they seem to be pretty solid tires, super beefy casing. And uh, they, they don't roll that slow for what they are. So once again, I'm gonna need more time on them to really get a feel for how they work in different conditions. But so far, pretty solid and uh, excited to try them out this year. All right, guys, so the last thing I'm going to talk about here is uh, just how this bike differs to the old version, which I rode last year in the same size, which is a large. So the main thing that sticks out for me is the front end on this bike is a little bit higher overall. The stack is also higher, 
but the bars just feel like they're a little bit higher and the front end feels like it's not as low as the old bike, which is a plus or a minus depending on how you want a bike to feel. But other than that, very similar. I think the BB on this one is a tiny bit lower, which you can kind of feel as well, which also creates that separation between your feet and bar height. So you definitely feel like you're in this bike, but definitely feels very confidence inspiring. And once again, time will tell how it does this year. If it's anything like the old bike, I'm sure it'll do fantastically. So thanks for watching today, guys. I hope this video helped. Uh, let me know if you want to know anything more about this bike or what you want to see in the comments section. Um, and catch you on the next one, guys. Please subscribe and like if you haven't already.